Hey, Alex is Mark here, and we are playing Half Life Alex, and we are in chapter 8 working on this dang wire puzzle, and it is pretty tough. But um, I'm going to help you out, hopefully, give you some tips and show you how to get past it. Um, if you don't feel too bad, this is a difficult puzzle to do. I was stumped on it for probably a good 45 minutes or so. So, anyway, let's get started. When you open up the door, remember there are explosive sacks here. So, you can either shoot them or you can sort of get close enough to them to where they expand and they will explode on their own. That way, you can serve your ammo, which is the method I like to do. So, once you set them off, we're going to walk in into the left by this gate. That's the first circuit we're going to interact with. So go ahead and take out your multi-tool and engage with it. And we're going to flip it over so it's pointing to the right. Follow the wire. And with this circuit, what we want to do is you can see to the right, it leads to a green wire. And then down below, it leads to a light. Um, so take the circuit and turn it so that it's pointing down or actually so that it looks like a T. So that's the so once you see all the blue wires lit up like that, we're ready to work our way to the third circuit. Now, if you look to the right and you see that green wire, it sort of goes up onto the ceiling. And it looks like it ends right there, but it actually doesn't. It also feeds its way over to the back area, this dark corner. You can jump up there. So that's our third circuit that we're going to interact with. So work your way over here. And you can see there's, there's some crates up there. We're going to jump three times all the way to the top. It's a little dark, but if you jump up there, um, be really careful because there's more explosive sacks up there. So jump jump again and don't do what i did which is get too excited to uh route the the wiring and forget about the explosive sack so be, <laughs> be smarter than me once you get to the top turn around the third circuit is right behind you take out the multi-tool and we're going to interact with it and reroute the wire and you can see it sort of leads its way down here so go ahead and turn it and then go around and there's another one so we're going to flip that and once you see those sparks that means that we have properly wired it to the blue wire and you can see the blue wire works its way up on the ceiling here let me go ahead and look up so you can see it there it is okay so the blue wire is going to is going to work its way down behind this growth here now remember we want to cover our mouth as we walk by it so we don't cough you don't have to do that but it's part of the experience okay so behind it is the fourth stop so let's take out our multi-tool again and let's turn the the circuit down power the wire now you can see that there's actually a split here and you can see it leads into the back room there we're not going to we're not going to use that quite yet so go ahead and route it so that the wire we use the wire to the right going towards the gate so when the gate opens, you can see now we have trip mines and we also have two head crabs heading towards us. So basically you want to lure them into jumping at you so they set off the trip mine. So back up or maybe walk forward a little bit so that they want to leap at you and then uh, take out any of the remainder. Sometimes you can get both head crabs with those trip mines, sometimes not. Go ahead and collect all your goodies. There are three zombies in the back. Two of them are by this tiger. Take them out. The third zombie you actually don't have to interact with unless you're a completionist. It's to the left right there. Just remember and be careful. It is one of the zombies that has the, uh, the sort of metal shell. So it can be a little tricky taking that one out. Okay, so in this room, there's that pesky red wire. And this is the part that stumped me for quite a while. So you can see the red wire leads itself up to this electrical box. And pulling up on this lever, I thought it may, maybe it was a bug, but it's not. We just need to get power to it first. So if you walk towards the back of the room here, that cabinet door may be closed for you. That Behind that cabinet door is another circuit we need to inter interact with. But first, yeah, it probably looked, probably looked like that for you. Um, there's a barnacle in the way, so don't be fooled because it's sort of camouflaged into all the piping and the wiring. So let's go ahead and look up take out that barnacle so we don't have to worry about it. Didn't drop any goodies for me. I wonder if it'll drop any goodies for you. 
I don't know if loot is randomly generated. Okay, so that wire that we were ignoring, now we're gonna use that wire. So go ahead and now route the power to this cable, there we go, to the yellow cable. And now we're gonna take the wire from that circuit and then interact right, yep, with that one right there. And so it's gonna go behind this cabinet. So let's open up the cabinet door and you're gonna to have to reach behind the television. Just ignore the little snapping dragons in the back and reach in just enough with your multi-tool over the TV so that you can turn this circuit just like that. And we're gonna work our way down the bottom of the cabinet into this door. Now be careful because in here, there's another explosive sack. So work as quickly as possible. And then once you, once you flip the circuit, then we're gonna go up a little bit. Don't forget to take whatever ammo you can. And then it's gonna lead down all the way to the red circuit. There's one more circuit we need to adjust. There we go. So now we have power to the red, wait, uh, what the heck? That was weird. Okay, so um, take, follow the red cable all the way to the electrical box. We have one more circuit we need to flip. Now we can flip that lever and so it's going to drop. Well, actually, there's one more thing we need to do before we do that. So the head crab is going to surprise you. Go ahead and take out the head crab. So one more thing we need to do. We need to power the gate so that we can get out. So head back to where that yellow wire is, and we're going to switch it back to the other wire so that we can power that gate, right? So go ahead and flip it around. Now, go ahead and get your favorite weapon out because we're going to have some company. Um, a bit of advice. Um, there is an explosive barrel back here. I highly recommend you go grab it and use it for the heavy. Head up there, take out this guy, shoot the explosive tank on the back. There is a heavy right behind him. There may be more depending on what difficulty you're playing on. Head back, grab that explosive barrel, and take it with you. Now remember, you're basically a walking bomb now, so you're gonna have to make sure that he doesn't hit you. But if you hide around a corner and just sort of wait for him to come around, you can lure him close enough so that you can just kind of toss it at him, toss it at his feet, shoot it, and it does a lot of damage. Remember, his weak point is his head. So go ahead and take him out. And, oh, lovely. He decided to do some gymnastics before he died. Awesome. Okay, so once we take those guys out, work your way over to the gate, and it should be open. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.